Warning! The scams shown in this video are real and still pose a risk to visitors in Amsterdam. Stay alert, learn about common scams, protect your belongings, use trusted services, and prioritize your safety throughout your trip. Enjoy the video, but remember to stay vigilant. Even though Amsterdam is among the safest travel destinations in the world, it's simple to fall victim to a variety of scams while there. In Amsterdam, there are several cunning natives that prey on innocent tourists. To stay out of problems on your vacation, be alert and on watch for these typical con artists. Let's begin. Amsterdam was not always such an open-minded city. With the help of our local experts, delve into the shadows of medieval Amsterdam to uncover a bleak past filled with torture, public executions, and witch hunts. In Amsterdam, there is a group of con artists who profit from the sale of resold public transportation tickets to tourists. These doubtful individuals frequently assert that these worthless objects are genuinely valuable and that they're selling them at a reduced price, even though they probably found the tickets in question lying on the street. The police in Amsterdam have reported that con artists occasionally imitate police officers to steal from tourists. These organizations frequently display phone identification while claiming to be looking for drugs or counterfeit currency. They will grab money or other valuables while secretly searching through a Mark's baggage, then act as if everything is in order before vanishing. Always keep in mind that actual Dutch police officers don't frequently check people on the street like this, and that anyone asking to see into your luggage is definitely a criminal. In Amsterdam, street vendors frequently prey on tourists and hang out in well-known spots like the Red Light District, selling extremely poor quality medications that have been laced with other potentially harmful ingredients. It is how these shady people make their living. Over the past few years, there have been multiple instances of drug poisoning in Amsterdam that have been connected to street traffickers. So yeah, probably just avoid them altogether before making a purchase. Some street vendors would give customers a tiny sample of MDMA or cocaine to try, even if the person has opted not to purchase the drugs. The dealer may still demand payment later and threaten the person if they don't. The cost of living in Amsterdam is high, and the city is presently dealing with a severe housing shortage. By posting fake hostel listings on Craigslist, Facebook, or Marketplace, many con artists take advantage of these problems. These con artists offer to let individuals stay at their false postings, then demand payment through services like Western Union before cutting off communications once they have the money. When looking for short-term lodging in Amsterdam, it's advised to completely avoid shopping for private flats and instead rely on reliable companies like Hotels.com or Airbnb. Visiting Netherlands plays on a common concern in Europe that the euro, the continent's official currency, is readily counterfeited and circulated. Hold the note up to natural light and check all four corners and both sides of the banknote for the full denomination number. The number must be printed exactly. The note should have a dark security stripe running across it. When the hologram is turned towards the light, the value transforms into a window or a door symbol. Additionally, the denomination number should switch from purple to green on the back. To verify notes, you can carry small, battery-powered ultraviolet lamps. The president of the European Central Bank signature and the flag and star symbol should change color when exposed to UV light. Taxi drivers that are waiting outside the main airport may also be criminals who will drive you to a place far from your lodging so they may rob you. Many people think that legal taxi drivers are just as bad as robbers. The market is very tightly regulated when there is no official taxi police present because the drivers feel the rules are unfair. They develop their own rules. They won't utilize the meter and charge flat rates no matter how far you go, or they'll just make up a fare because it's a quiet night. Even if they do accept your ride and start the meter, the charge will make your eyes water. It usually costs at least 40 euros to travel from the airport to... Why take a taxi when there is such wonderful public transportation in Amsterdam? There are instances where a taxi driver overcharges you, similar to this fraud. We must employ cabs if there are no Uber or similar services in a location. It's the same in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Ask the driver to start the meter every time you get into a taxi in Amsterdam. It's also a good idea to plan your route before getting in the cab so you know how long the ride should be. 
By doing so, you can get an estimate of how long the trip will take you from your taxi driver before you get in and compare it to the time that Google Maps or Waze tells you on your phone. Scammers frequently wait outside transit hubs and pretend to take tourists to specific hotels while actually taking you to another location. Transport hubs are also rather dangerous at night when you face the risk of people trying to pickpocket you or rob you or wanting to assist you with various activities. If you give in to beggar solicitations for money, they won't leave you alone. Always refuse and leave. Booking accommodations in Amsterdam is subject to significant scams, but you're typically conned before you arrive. Pickpockets are a common occurrence in Amsterdam, and they tend to congregate in areas where there are many tourists, such as Central Station or Dam Square. While some pickpockets use requests for directions to divert victims, others simply prey on those who aren't paying attention to their positions. Always keep your belongings close by and carefully consider your encounters with strangers before engaging them in conversation. In order to save you from paying local bank fees, someone approaches you at an ATM in Amsterdam. The card skimmer in their pocket is what they really want to use to scan your debit or credit card while you enter your PIN so they may later drain your account. Another variation of this well-known con is when someone approaches you at an ATM and offers to help you fix your card. Always use your other hand to include the number pad as you input your PIN code. Even better is to travel with credit cards that don't charge foreign exchange fees and cash that can be exchanged at a local bank. In Amsterdam, beware of the following scam if hooking up is something you plan to do while visiting. Two nice girls or guys will strike up a conversation and make you think that there is a shared interest. They will then offer you to join them at a neighboring bar and advise that you get a drink which they are partners with. You'll end up paying five to ten times more. After a few drinks, they will offer to chip in a tiny bit. But if you don't pay up, the bar bodyguards will take you to an ATM so you can get the money you need to cover the bill. There are a few things you can take to protect yourself from falling victim to this tourist fraud in Amsterdam. You can start by recommending the bar. When you arrive, be sure to ask for the bar menu so you can check the prices. Hope you all enjoyed this roller coaster ride. By the way, how did you experience knowing this city? Excited about the next video? Comment to tell us while subscribing to our channel and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for more upcoming videos. See you all next time. Adios.